Welcome to This Is GAA, a podcast that concentrates on Ulster GAA football, with a big take on Ulster GAA club and county football teams in provincial and all Ireland competitions, and also my look at all the latest GAA news. The podcast is available in audio form on Amazon Music and Audible, and also on Spotify. And it's in video form on YouTube. So let's jump right in. After Calvin defeated Bonham 3 12 to 1 12 in Clonus on Sunday, the quarter final lineup has been finalised. Down versus Antrim Sunday the 14th at Park Esther, 6 pm throw in. Saturday the 20th of April begins a packed weekend of Ulster matches with Armagh and Fermanagh facing each other at Brewster Park at 2pm. Then on the Sunday we have Calvin vs Tyrone at Breffney Park at 4pm and Derry vs Donegal at Celtic Park at 6.15pm. Calvin exposed the fly goalkeeper system's frailties in some style. Late goals from George Smith and Paddy Lynch gave the Breffney men a 6 point win as Darren Hughes picked up a serious injury on what was a bad day at the office. From Monaghan. I listened to the first half in a car and Northern Sound and then continued with the second half on TV and I've never heard so many drops of the NFL Rory Began link. Nearly every sentence involving him had some cringeworthy contrived link. Indeed much of the build up to the game had focused on whether or not Rory Began would play in goals for the host county and about 40 minutes prior to throw in the world's best kept secret was exposed as word filtered through that the Scotstown native would replace Darren McDonald between the posts. Within 67, 60 seconds of the action in the first half starting, he'd fully justified that decision by converting a 45, before making a point blank save to deny Paddy Lynch. Monaghan, with a strong breeze at their back, could only eke out a two-point lead by half-time, and that ultimately proved to be their undoing, even though they held that same lead going into stoppage time. But that stoppage time was to be 10 minutes long, due to that serious injury to Darren Hughes, and it proved crucial as Calvin scored their two vital goals during that period. Calvin progressed to meet Tyrone. Nothing's easy in Ulster and Monaghan will have time to regroup for the All-Ireland series. As this disjointed GAA season continues, with the Ulster quarterfinals squeezed into two weekends, indeed three of the four matches squeezed into the weekend Saturday the 20th and Sunday the 21st of April. This game will be played in Park Esther and Uri, and we will see these former Division 3 combatants face each other once again as Down play Antrim in quarter-final one of the Ulster Championship proper. Although Down have gained promotion, it may not be the last to see of Antrim before the season is out, as they may well face them again somewhere in the Tolson Cup, depending on how either of them fare in the Ulster Championship. As things stand, Derry, Tyrone, Monaghan, Armagh, Donegal and Calvin will all be involved in the All-Ireland Series later this summer. Antrim, Fermanagh and Down will need to reach the provincial final in order for them to qualify for a Super 16 berth. Failure to do so for any of these teams will result in a Tolson Cup football berth. So the significance of this this particular fixture should not be underestimated. Indeed, both teams have probably more on the line than either Calvin or Munden had re-continued involvement in the All-Ireland series. Annie McEntee enjoys a largely fruitful first season with Antrim as the Saffrons retain their divisional status and reach the semi-final of the Tolson Cup, losing narrowly to his native me, the Crow Park. This season, retaining their Division 3 status was a much more impressive feat in 2024, given the caliber of players they were out without this season. However, their winless run in the Ulster Championship goes back 10 years to when they edged out for Manor in Brewster Park in 2014. At full strength, Antrim would fancy their chances of causing an upset in Newry, but as things stand, they'll probably have to settle for another run in the Tolchin Cup. Down achieved their goal of gaining promotion from Division 3, but their loss to Westmead in that 
subsequent final at Crow Park means they'll have to reach the Ulster Senior Football Championship final to make the All-Ireland Series. The Mourne Mail will be fancy to account for Antrim in this quarter-final and would probably face Antrim in the, uh, in the ensuing semi-final. That would be a repeat, a repeat of last year's provincial semi-final, which the Orchard County won by 10 points. On their day, down can be brilliant, and they defeated Donegal in Ulster last year, and also scored a whopping 8-16 against Leash in that Totten Cup semi-final. Conor Lafferty, however, will be making sure that his charges make amends for their poor showing last time out in Crow Park, and a down win looks locked in. It's just by how many. The biggest concern for Lafferty at this stage is there just doesn't seem to be any middle ground. They have to just keep winning in Ulster to have any chance of an Ireland group stage berth. Should they fail to reach that Ulster final, Down will undoubtedly become one of the favourites for the Talchin Cup. And with that guarantee of a group stage berth next season, as uh, they will certainly go for it, I would say, if they do go down that direction, because Division 2 is a minefield. If you've enjoyed this podcast, subscribe, like or share, depending on what platform you're on. Also, if you're an expat from an Ulster County, have a listen or better still, follow the podcast and get regular updates on your county team's progress. The podcast is available on audio on Spotify and Amazon and in video on YouTube. You can also join with me on the social media links that are in the description notes. So leave a comment in the comments section or drop me a line on Twitter X or Facebook. Do you think the GA season is too compressed at inter-county level? Is the current ticketing system working? Have the provincial championships been devalued by linking all Ireland group stages to league positions? What suggestions would you have that would make for a better season for fans? This is GAA. I'm Jerry. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Have a good weekend watching your county or club. Yes, the club seasons are starting amidst this squeezed county season. I'm off to do my picks for the Masters and I'm also hoping to get some golf in this weekend. And I'll also be enduring United v Bournemouth away this Saturday evening. Have a good one, everyone.